Yes guys, we're finally here. I'm so excited to explain to you what the hell has been going on. We got YouTube signs, we got from the ground up stuff, King of Spades, we've got the old heart, I've even got a new one. You know, you know that button from the shed. We've also got the logo from the ground up, King of Power, which is coming as well. But today, I've got something so special to tell you. In fact, let me make things a lot easier for you. Ah, keep your eyes up, wait a second. Okay, you may now look. I'm so excited, I've been asked to design and build a private bike park training facility, sort of freestyle setup, progression sort of place really. Basically everything where you can be like entry level to ride at a pro level. So let me walk you through it. This is the idea anyway. So we've got three types of rollings. What we'll do, we'll start on the yellow rolling first. And this one's gonna be sort of a, a rollable pump track. You know, it's gonna have triple rollers, double rollers. It's gonna have some berm features in there, some tabletops, small rollers, and then it all just basically snakes all the way through. Everything's gonna be rollable. There'll be no gaps through here. And it's gonna be super flowy, super fast. So you can actually cruise around it, say if you're like a four year old or a five year old or someone who's just kind of started getting into riding. So you can just kind of chill and go around it or you could actually hammer it, cane the berms up, double some stuff up, triple some stuff up. So that's gonna be super fun to ride that one. The next one, the blue line. I've only done this with colors because as for me, when I'm explaining to people when we're here, we're like, right, on the blue line, we're gonna be doing this, blah, blah, blah. And also for your guys' viewing pleasure, so you can actually see what I'm going on about. Because it's up here most of the time, and people are like, oh, really? But anyway, back to the blue. Another rolling, tabletop, double that matches the same length, same again. Mini boner log, mini whale tail, racer, and then into some kind of uh, like a trick set up maybe with a rubber chip mulch landing or some some sort of resi landing or something with a berm So that's going to be progressive. So the idea of this one You ride the tabletops the doubles are going to be exactly the same size It's just that mind over matter where there's the middle field in or there's a gap So you can actually get build that confidence slowly and obviously with a little mini boner log and then a little whale tail too. You know, it's just gonna be a lot of features where you can slow down, speed up, or you've got a pump a bit, just slightly more technical than the yellow line. And then we're on to the red one, the main, the meat of the whole place. This is gonna be, for instance, eight foot kickers, 12 foot landings, huge whale tail, more kickers, more flat drops, huge boner log, and then we've got a quarter to mulch landings or dirt mulch at either side. I'm so excited to one, have this opportunity and you know, two, to actually be able to design something with machines too. So, you know, it's gonna be so cool. Um, uh, it's gonna be great. And also for your guys, we're gonna basically have a build one, build two and so on. We're gonna walk you guys through it, you know, so you guys can watch what's happening. You know, if there's any comments you wanna leave or any suggestions about where we're going with stuff, feel free, whack them in the comments. But uh, with saying that, we better get cracking. Ah, oh, and one last thing. It's called the barnyard, so welcome to the barnyard.
Right, the scene is set. We've got hundreds of tons of dirt. We've got a 14 ton digger, a 6 ton digger, and a 3 ton dumper. We've also got stacks of wood, endless amounts of red diesel. That can only be one thing. Will, you start us off. Let's get it going. Yo, this is Mini King. I'm going to pop up every now and then explaining what's going on in a little bit more detail. So this is Will. He drives the 14 ton digger, the big boy. So he's clearing all the grass and putting them into rough piles. He's the top bloke and an absolute wizard in the machine. He also has a cool dog called Digger, which is fitting. Anyway, that's enough from me. Let's go. Oh, massive thank you for Will for stripping all the grass off. The reason why we stripped all the grass off is that one, it's so much better to build straight off mud, but also we can get the level of the field and how it's kind of, uh, you know, kind of lying. So we want that gradual fall all the way down the park because, you know, it just carries a bit more flow. But anyway, so thank you to Will for stripping that off. What we've done, we've put all the grass in these big features here just to kind of get rid of them you know you don't really want to build with grass because it is quite fluffy and it doesn't compact very well but once you've got about 20 ton on it it is compacted well so on the next show we're going to start getting these roughly shaped up because if they're in the right place then everything else can work in the right place so i've thoroughly enjoyed myself i hope you guys have and i welcome you to this new exciting little series but um we're about done we'll see you in the next one. Oh, take it out for us cheers